You know, I really wish I had some dimpled eyes. Uh, what? Now, as nice as these are, really nice machine billet pieces, they are five or six hundred dollars, which I don't have five or six hundred dollars just laying around right now. What I do have is a 3D printer, and I know how to use CAD, so dimple dies are a pretty simple design, so I'm gonna go ahead, draw them up in CAD, 3D print them out, and uh, see if they work. I don't know. Yeah, let's get to it, let's give it a shot. So we have our dimple dies, our basically free dimple dies off of the printer. Now what I want to do is test them. So what I did is I made two, I made a one inch and I made a three quarter inch. I figured the smaller I make it, the less surface area it'll have and the more likely it'll be to break. So I want to test this and I want to test it with these little coupons that I cut out. So I have four coupons here, uh, 0 .035, 0 .05, these are steel. And then I have two pieces of aluminum. One is 067 and the other is 0.05. So I don't know what these are exactly supposed to be, but that's what I measured them at with my calipers. So that's the number I'm giving you. So I'm gonna go through these. I'm gonna do the thin ones first and then do the thick ones second. Probably save the thick steel one for last, just in case it breaks. But let's go ahead and test them out.
So 3D printed dimple dies. They actually work. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty surprised. I was kind of expecting these to just like crumble or break apart, but they actually did a decent job. Relatively thick aluminum, I mean, 0.05 steel, this is basically what, this actually might even be thicker than what you would use for gusset plates anyways, but I'm impressed. Now, longevity, I can't really tell how long this will last, but I do know that on my printer, it took me roughly about 45 minutes to print this, and if it breaks, I can just print another one. Now, I did print these out of a carbon fiber PLA, which is relatively cheap. Almost any printer can actually print it. It's just carbon fiber strand infused PLA. You just need a hardened uh, tip for your printer. And temperature wise is nothing nearly as extreme as like nylon carbon. So you can actually print this at 220 degrees. You can print it relatively fast. It's cheap, easy to work with, sticks to the bed nice. You know, highly recommended this material for something like this. I still can't believe this worked, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end up printing a full set of these out. The nice thing is, since, since I'm making these myself and I'm designing them in CAD, I can actually change this inside bevel here. I can make it wider, more narrow, depending on how big I actually want this dimple to be. So I can actually go into the CAD software, change that, and then reprint a new one if I wanna make a slight change to it. I'm not stuck with what I get from a company that sells these kits. Well, the billet kits for, you know, five, $600. Now, is it the same quality as one of those? Absolutely not. There's no way this is gonna last nearly as long. They're definitely gonna have to be replaced, but they only cost a few cents to print. So in my opinion, this is worth it. I'm gonna be printing some more of these. I still can't believe it's like $600 for a billet set though, but. Anyways, uh, yeah, you can use 3D printed uh, dimple dies and it works pretty good. So maybe I'll test some more uh, 3D printed tools out and see how they go. I've been wanting to put a, uh, a metal break together for a while. So maybe I'll 3D print one of those and see if it, uh, holds up. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Maybe I'll do more tests like this. And uh, until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.